Now to a story you'll see only on seven. More than a dozen kids in elementary school left stranded at their bus stop for hours. A mother in Prince George's County says it terrified their entire family, and she's looking for answers from the school district. Jeanette Reyes has the story. Yesterday morning started out like any other for the Adams family. The three youngest were dropped off at the bus stop around nine to be taken to Arrowhead Elementary School just a couple of miles away. I got a call, a frantic call from my mom, who is the kid's grandmother, saying that the kids were not at school. It was almost 11 o'clock and none of the Adams kids were at school. Tanika Adams was helpless on a field trip with her so oldest daughter. When she's telling me this, I'm wondering, did somebody take my children? All three of them at one time. And I'm here at this field trip taking care of other people's kids. And I don't know where my children are and I can't get there. Much to everyone's surprise, the kids were exactly where their father had left them, at the bus stop nearly two hours later, still waiting on the bus. The kids, more than a dozen in all, were confused, tired, and some angry. More than an explanation, Jessica Adams just wanted one thing. Wanted to get a hold of my mom. The children waited here at this stop for hours for that bus to come, but they didn't do it alone. There was a neighbor who refused to leave until she knew that they made it to school safely. Adams met her for the first time today and thanked her. You're welcome. Don't cry because they're okay. See, I was your angel yesterday. I believe you were. Okay. I believe that. Okay. And although Adams is relieved, she says this troubling ordeal points to a serious problem. The bus system is broken. If people are out or if somebody quit, it's not excusable to just leave, leave people's babies on the street. In Prince George's County, Jeanette Reyes, ABC 7 News.